Welcome back to the show. Dane and Rascal, the world's cutest dog, had to step out for a moment. Do you know what they're doing? Grooming. Now, I think Rascal had to go to the loo, or in this case, a tree, to go take care of some business. But that gives us an opportunity to do some mail, correct? Correct. You send us things in the post, and we have to look and read it, because it's important that we do that. Right? Yeah, indeed. How are you doing, Tangela? Good? She's so happy that she loves dogs. All kinds of dogs. Ugly ones, pretty ones, doesn't matter. You got mail? Come on, yeah. bring it, bring it, bring it. What is it? Mr. Trumpeter. We've heard from him before. I believe we have. He's, he, does he have an exclusive access to our mail bag? Oh, I, I recall. I recall. This is this is what he hand wrote the note, and I looked and I said, "I will never be able to read this. You must print it." So one of our poor staffers had to decipher, and it looked like he was decoding the Enigma machine from World War II. Ah. No, it was amazing. All right, so um, Robert Trumpeter says, hello, Creature Features. Thank you for reading my letter on the air on 4-24-21 at 9.45 p.m. This man has a military background. I'm surprised he did not use military time. Vince, you said my name perfectly. It's been a very weird week for me, and that was uplifting. My name is pronounced Trumpeter. It's bohemian and somewhat related to Captain Horatio Hornblower. We know him. Not personally. Well, we know of him. Indeed. The 50s made some of the best sci-fi and horror films. The film quality you present the films at is really excellent, especially all the Roger Corman ones. I collect really early film and found early Thomas Edison 1897 products. Wow, that's, that's some old stuff. Impressive. I'm a very avid film buff and make films myself as well and teach film production and theory. I made a film in 1988, Goomers. Uh, Goomers? It's like... Groomers without the R. About creators that arise from fruit. I did props and production assistance for Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Had, a, had to roll a large tomato down the sidewalks in Milpitas. I didn't know that was filmed down there. I had no Milpitas idea. Milpitas is becoming the monster capital of the world in the San Francisco Bay Area, I presume. Really enjoy Creature Features program. Can I get a signed picture of the cast, please? Well, I think he can arrange that. We'll have to check with him. Thank you for writing, Robert, and we will talk to you soon. What do you got next for me, Mr. Livingston? A package. A heavy package? Somewhat. A somewhat heavy package. It feels like it's been shaking already. Is this something stirred. for you? No? It's not for you? Is it for me? It cannot be for me. Who's it addressed to? Creature Features from Pulp Vane. Is that person's name? I don't think so. There is a note inside. Oh my goodness. What, in God's name, somebody sent their entire video collection? Is this what this is? All right, I better read the notes and find out what's going on. You know, we don't, they don't let me look at this before. They just show me a note and say, can you read this? And I say, no, but this I could read. All right. Um, Brian Lupo, does not say where, but it said someplace up north, right? Redlands, California. All right, he goes, hey, Creature Features crew, just dropping you a small letter to say I love the show. Between Joe Bob Briggs on Friday nights, Sven Gulli on Saturday, and your show on YouTube for Sunday. He's watching us on bloody Sunday. Now, he gives Joe Bob Briggs and Sven Gulli the weekend, and he saves us for Sunday. It's yeah, a spread that's, letter day. That's the day of our Lord. You should not be watching horror films on Sunday. Now, you can watch this anytime you want. That's why you're on YouTube and those other two blokes are not. Because we're versatile. You can watch this any day of the week, right? Indeed. That's right. All right. Uh, uh, you on uh, Sunday night viewing. My weekends are full of horror host of terror. I grew up watching Elvira, Zachary, Count Gordeval, Joe Bob Briggs. You already said Joe Bob Briggs. And, uh, of course, the legendary Bob Wilkins of Creature Features. As a horror junkie, it's nice to see the home of the horror host is still very much relevant and thriving in our faster-paced era. My goodness, this man has a way with words. Indeed. Got to put some commas in so I can inhale now and then. All right, I want you to know us OG mutants. You know, I just found out that OG means original gangster. 
I don't know how that applies to anything else except gangster films. Original gangster. All right. I want you to know us OG mutants are spreading the word of your channel and wish your show the best of luck, as I do all horror hosts with hearts in the right grave. I've seen your show evolve from episode one. Oh, good Lord. That's a, that was a beauty. Mm -hmm. And uh, see a beautifully dark future ahead for the show. If you can please play the film Duel, that would be epic. You know, we tried to get that. No luck. We'll keep trying, though. I know you have to pick from public domain titles, not always, and put them on YouTube. So my request might be impossible. But thank you either way for your consideration. And close with some gifts for you, Vincent, Livingston, and Changella. Best from your subscribed and bell notified fan, Brian Lupo. P.S. Is Tangela's octopus obsession Chaluthu? How do you say this? Chaluthu? Chaluthu. Chaluthu related. Is it? No, you know, she likes octopi because it is the animal that looks most like her hair, and she lives by the ocean. And that's all it is. All right, let's see what kinds of gifts he gave us. My goodness. The sickness of. Lucius Frost, a Brian Lupo film, three copies. Look at this. Mon, is this another Brian Lupo film? Good Lord, this man's a filmmaker. He did not say so. All right, look at all these films. You know, you should just send us a release with these so we can show them on the air if they're any good. Tim Teller will let us know if they're very good. All right, look at all this stuff. And he wrote a book. Oh, he, he wrote a book about goats called Goat's Head. Oh, she loves goats. She loves her heads too, but she loves goats. She loves the entire goat. All right, well, thank you so much, uh, Brian. And uh, we will uh, take a, a look at these ASAP, right? Is that it? Anything else? One more. One more. I feel like it's Christmas. Here you go, love. All right, last letter is from Ted Beaker in Slurry Creek, Arkansas. That sounds like a beautiful place. Slurry? Do you know what a slurry is? No. Oh. Well, it's not a slur. Is it? No. All right. Uh, Dear Creature Features, I like your show. I also like dirt, vermin, and I put a cheese slice on my apple pie. That is all goodbye. Ted Beaker, Slurry Creek, Arkansas. That's a strange letter. Well, I hope you're doing fine, Ted. And if you could, next time you write, explain this whole cheese on apple pie. You know, I've seen that once before and I never it's did quite. It's Dutch. Is it Dutch? Dutch apple pie. Is Beaker a Dutch name? It could be. Sounds like it. Or oh, it's German like him. All right. Well, that's it for letters. If you'd like to send us a letter of your own via email, like Mr. Beaker did, send it to the address you see right here. Or if you'd like to send a box full of books and DVDs and a very long letter, like our friend Mr. Lupo, send it to the address you see right here. We'll be right back with Dane Andrew and Rascal the Ugliest Dog, but first let's get back to the Undying Monster. Hi, my name is Holly. I grew up on the peninsula. Um, we went to Bodega Bay right after they filmed The Birds, and it was really cool. Really cool that you guys are filming from there. I love Creature Features. Loved it when I was a kid. Love it now. Have a great day, and everything is really wonderful about your show. Thanks. Bye. 